Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. It's been a long time for a proper review and today we're back with the tier one concealed Axis Elite holster. But before I get to that guys, just stay tuned. I have a bunch of reviews coming. I have a bunch of videos coming out and a big announcement for the channel. I can't tell you guys yet. It's huge though. I really do promise you it's going to change the game. Uh, but stay tuned. A lot of great stuff coming your way. Now, let's hop right into this review right away. The Tier 1 Concealed Access Elite Holster. Absolutely my favorite rig for concealed carry uh, and EDC. Everyone talks about these sidecar style rigs for appendix carry, right? And to go back real quick, the sidecar rig was originally created by T-Rex Arms, hence their sidecar holster, right? But since then, it seems like everyone's done a, a sidecar rig, and it just seems to me that Tier 1 Concealed has probably done the best job in the game creating a new one that is totally feature-packed, even more so than T-Rex's sidecar 2.0 that's out there now, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's go through the features of why I think this holster is probably the best appendix style sidecar rig on the market. So first and foremost, let's talk about comfort because if you don't wear your holster all the time, if it's not comfortable, you're not going to be carrying all the time as you should. So you have to find something that fits with your body type, something that's super comfortable, something that you wear every day. Um, and for me, I like this appendix style rig, uh, especially here in New York. New York isn't really a free state, although we are fighting and we are working on it. Um, I like to have at least 20 rounds on me. 10 rounds is our capacity here. Uh, luckily, this G43X MOS uh, in the standard config is a 10 round gun. Uh, but when you add the other 10 rounds in a sidecar style holster like this, that gives you 20 and it's fully accessible in an appendix rig that's right here, right around your waistline. So um, you have proper retention and um, you always know where the gun is, right? It's not like when you go to a store and you bend down to pick something up and you're wearing a gun in the three or four o'clock position and then, you know, you're afraid it's sticking out, it's printing, uh, especially in a place like this, like New York. Uh, you want something that is super concealable and super comfortable, right? Or else you won't wear it. So the reason why I think this is one of the most comfortable holsters out there is its adjustability. It's super, super adjustable. And the first way it is adjustable is right here with these DCC uh, discrete carry concepts clips. Uh, now they do come, these tier one holsters come with tier ones, uh, I believe they're called easy clips here. Um, and these are great, uh, nothing really wrong with them except that they're pretty chunky, uh, they're a little thick, and they're also plastic. However, they do have an incredible amount of adjustability up and down. Now, why is that important? Um, well, when you can ride this higher or lower on your waistline, you can adjust where the bottom of the holster sits, right? So if it's poking you in the pelvic bone all day long, like some of my older holsters did, uh, it's not going to be comfortable. You're not going to want to wear it. And you're going to say, oh, appendix carry. It's just not for me, right? Uh, or if it's riding too high, you're always afraid that if you bend down, it's going to come spilling out. So there's like a perfect medium that you want to find. You're going to have to play with that when you first get a holster like this, any holster really that you are carrying appendix, right? You don't want it spilling out and you want it, you don't want it poking you in the pelvis, right? That's super uncomfortable, horrible. Everyone knows about that stuff. So I got rid of these tier one concealed uh, clips here. Although they are super adjustable, they're also plastic. And the reason I think that plastic isn't the best is obviously durability. These metal clips from DCC are super firm and strong. And uh, if you talk to any solid professional, a lot of guys who do this for real, uh, guys who are cops, so on and so forth, those dudes, they're the ones who are gonna tell you, hey man, uh, you can't rock with plastic when I'm getting out of the vehicle, in and out, uh, moving quickly. Maybe sometimes those dudes get into a tussle with somebody, the clips might break. Now for the average citizen, 
it's not going to be the case, right? You're going to be bending over to pick something up or getting in and out of your vehicle. You don't want those clips to be compromised. So I did feel that these uh, discrete carry concept clips are a little bit more durable. Um, and they have this excellent little kind of like tooth in here, um, which will be kind of hard to see on video. Um, but that little tooth kind of like locks in to the bottom of your belt. And so it, once, it, once the holster is in, it's in. It's not going anywhere. So those are really great. And you can get them when they're in stock um, with your Tier 1 Concealed order. With your, when you order the Axis Elite, you'd have to do the drop-down box for these guys instead of the uh, easy clips that Tier 1 Concealed makes, right? If they don't have them, you'd have to order them right off of DCC's website. I'll put a link in the description to them separately. Uh, so that you can find them perhaps if they're not in stock when you order your tier one concealed access elite. So comfort, right? Vertical adjustment will make it comfortable for an all day carry, uh, not pressing on your pelvis and also not spilling out of the top of your holster, right? But in addition, um, tier one boasts of its slim line design. Now, as you can see here, um, I'm rocking a G43X MOS on the regs, right? And it's pretty slim. But if I was to bring in the big boy here, uh, the G17 Gen 4 with the X300, I'm able to conceal this, by the way, with the adjustability here. But this guy's a little bit thicker. But even still on this thicker um, gun than the G43, you still have a pretty thin... Uh, yet durable kydex and the whole design is generally slim lined so that it's also not sandwiched out away from your body right um, so that's super important as well as having a uh, proper ride height which you will have to play with and adjust at least it comes in a slim package so it's not forcing the belt forward and by the way the further away anything gets from your body the more it's going to put pressure on your lower back um, and you know for the first hour or two who cares right but when you're on hour 10 in your day and you're bobbing around you're going about your day um, carrying your gun uh, it starts to wear on you after a while um, and by the way part of that is all what belt you choose which will be another video altogether but if you have a proper belt and a proper holster like this comfort should be less of an issue um, side note on that guys carrying a gun is not comfortable okay uh, it's just not going to be a comfortable act typically uh, most people are going to say yeah you start to notice it after a while so that is kind of a compromise you make in order to have safety in place, right? You're gonna give up a little bit of comfort, but with a holster like this that has such modularity and adjustability, you're able to kind of gauge your comfort and make it for your own body, right? Um, also, another factor I believe in comfort on this holster is this bungee uh, that holds the mag carrier to the pistol uh, holster. So what happens here is this bungee here adds this little bit of flex and what happens there is that it's able to then turn in and conform to your body uh, we're all kind of round up front right even if you're sort of flat there is a sort of roundness to the human shape right so um, this will conform to how round you are now i'm a little rounder than most in the middle there i will admit so um, it will bend nicely to form and shape around my own body which is terrific um, you know the older style sidecar holsters when they first came out it was super innovative and super cool but um, they were all locked in place and nowadays a lot of guys are still making those which is kind of shocking to me right like you know in this stage of the game even the t-rex uh, sidecar 2.0 has a hinge system built into it which is really really cool it allows the holsters to sort of bend around your body and i do believe that um, that's great. That hinge system is great, but I think this is even a little bit better. Um, the bungee does uh, hold everything nice and firm. Nothing moves around, but also bends around to the body like so, and even has a little torsional flex like this, um, which I think is a huge, huge, huge help. Uh, let's say you're picking something up or in a grocery store. Again, that classic example, you're picking something off the bottom shelf and you know it's going to bend and it's going to move and flex with you. That's super super important in my humble opinion so uh, at any rate comfort all day comfort 
it's a key to carrying a pistol and you want it to be as comfortable as possible. So moving on from comfortability is concealability, right? Um, I live in a state where guns are not the norm. As a matter of fact, we're kind of an anti-gun state here, except for those of us who are here, staying here, and we're pushing the norms of having guns and we're promoting it. Um, and so being behind enemy lines, you want the most concealable pistol, pistol out there. You don't want your rig to be printing so that someone freaks out. And even if you're legally carrying in a certain area, you don't want anyone freaking out and calling the cops and going, this guy's got a gun, I'm terrified for my life, so on and so forth, right? Uh, so what makes this a very concealable holster? We're talking about tier one concealed, right? Well, the first aspect is this claw here. Uh, now the claw on this uh, holster is a little bit different than most other claws on the market. And the reason why is because it has this stackable uh, claw. It has one, two, three, four uh, levels to stack to. So I'm a four stack kind of guy, right? I really like the holster be, to be turning into my body because what happens is as the belt line pushes against this claw this pushes the holster and the gun into my body so thereby this frame which is your dead giveaway when you're printing and you're carrying will be turned further into the body more concealable less obvious less poking through a shirt right um, so that stackable claw is fully adjustable. Again, another huge benefit, a key feature. Uh, let's say you might be a three stack guy, a two stack guy. You might have to play with that when you first get it. I like the extreme turn into the body. Um, so I would say that looking at it from the top here, it turns the holster into my body about that much right there. And that does definitely keep this um, frame from printing. The grip does doesn't pop right um so very concealable on that end but further they take it a step further because it is tier one concealed right and they've added a molded uh ridge line here a concealment ridge for the mag carrier that actually does the same thing on the other side so you're getting kind of a dual flex this way and the whole entire rig conceals really well to your entire body. It holds really tight to the body and it conceals much, much better than other rigs that I've had in the past. Um, even if it was just a claw alone, um, it would be huge, but they've added that little bit extra and gone the extra distance to add this extra uh, strip, this concealment ridge and this mold in here, uh, which I think is a huge, huge benefit. And you know, in terms of concealability, again, I think this bungee really, really, really helps you out a lot. Um, the bungee can be tightened down, so obviously nothing will shake. Let me give you a quick preview of that. You're not going to be, you know, losing this and it's not going to be flopping to the side or anything like that. It's a very rigid rig, but it does have that nice bend, that nice twist um, that helps you conform further to the body. Again, with the other guys out there, step up your game. I see a lot of rigs out there that it don't have the bend and it just has that like a like a, a static position. But the problem with that is that we're all different. Um, again, I'm a little rounder in the middle than most guys. There's some really skinny guys out there um, that are just kind of hanging around who are very lucky, uh, but they have their own concerns and issues with con concealed carry. So everyone's got to adjust um, the holster to their body. Uh, and that's why I think that this this rig really helps out a lot, especially in concealability when you can adjust the holster to your body, bend it in and have all the items properly tucked away. Um, and again, in a state like mine, you really don't want to be uh, flaunting your concealed carry, even though we're all legal here, who all of us legal concealed carry owners, we still want to keep it tight to the body and it's nobody's business but our own okay so last but not least guys these are a lot of the pros of the system but i thought i would throw at you a couple of the cons as well um there's not a lot of cons on this holster uh i do think it is the real deal but there's a couple things so it wouldn't be fair if i didn't throw in a couple cons so first and foremost um depending on what kind of light you have you will not get that sort of satisfying click into your holster uh, let me show you so i'm running a tlr7 sub on this uh 
Glock 43X MOS. And when I click the gun into the holster or want to click it into the holster, it doesn't have that little click at the very last half inch or so. And I think that that's more to do based on all my research and talking to people about what kind of uh, pistol light you're running. Because if I take this Surefire X300 uh, equipped Glock 17 here and I run it the same way. Ah, satisfying click. Let's do that one more time. Ah, satisfying click. So yeah, the the, the X300 clicks nicely into place. Um, I do believe it's, it's about the type of light you're running from my research. Uh, that's what folks say. But look, if you take it to the other side here, the mag clicks right in, right? The mag clicks right in. Let's do that one more time. It's got that little satisfying thing. Now, it may not be a big deal to you, um, but to me, I really like to feel that click because it kind of confirms in my mind that the pistol is seated. Um, otherwise, I wind up like when it's in my when it's in my belt line, I wind up pushing down on it often, making sure, okay, is it in? Is it really in? Okay, it's in, it's in, it's in. Even though it's got excellent retention, as you can see right here, um, there's adjustable retention. It's not going anywhere, and I know this, but that little click um, is really sort of satisfying, but also, um, I think, kind of necessary. So I'm not sure why that is, um, but it does happen, and I've heard that it's uh, an occurrence with multiple different holsters due to the light more than anything. So uh, take that for what it's worth. You may or may not uh, have a click. Your mileage may vary. So um, the other issue that most people have with the Tier 1 Concealed Access Elite or any Tier 1 Concealed holster is the long four to six week wait period on getting a holster shipped, created and shipped out to them. So yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit of a long lead time, especially when you just like get this new gun and you're like, oh man, I can't wait to carry this new rig. It's so cool. All I want to do is run my gun every day and oof, four to six week lead time. Um, that does take a while. Um, I will say those guys are doing their best over there. I'm positive, I'm sure. But um, you know, uh, you are going to be in for that weight, so you better be prepared for it mentally, right? Um, if you for sure know you're going to buy this pistol and you want to be equipped with a holster already, maybe pre-order the holster with the light combo um, and have it waiting for you the day you do come home with your pistol so you can carry it right away. I mean, that is a little kind of hack around it, but... It's not going to help you for those days when you go to the gun store and you're kind of like, wow, look at that, a Shadow Systems MR920 or whatever gun you're looking at that day and you go, ooh, like, I, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. You know, you whip out the plastic and boom, you pay that, you pay that uh, price for that card and then now you kind of don't have a holster for your gun. So be aware, it is a four to six week lead time, but not the worst, but, it, you know, it is something that you have to be aware of. Lastly... I'm 50-50 on this one myself, actually, is the price of this holster. Um, you know, you're getting close to the $200 range for one of these guys. You're talking between $165 and, like, $195, somewhere with, depending on the accessories, the type of Kydex you choose, um, you know, if it's a multicam or something like that, um, the clips, you know, whatever. If you get an extra bungee, which I do recommend, it's only a few bucks. Those things start to add up, you'll see, when you start configuring in their drop down menu those things do add up and you could be running close to a $200 holster system now I have a good friend my boy you guys might know him tiny uh, who is not tiny at all but anyway he has a line that always says hey you got to pay the cost to be the boss right if you want the best you have to pay what ever price they're charging because it's the best and what other choice do you have and I'm I tend to agree with that you know um, these, these guys are worth what they're worth, right? And they can charge what they're worth. They do make an excellent product. But be aware, some guys may be looking for a budget, budget holster option. Um, you know, honestly, for me, uh, that doesn't work. A budget holster is going to, like, if you got, like, a We The People holster or a Vetter holster or something that I, I would consider a budget holster, um, I think you're getting a lesser product, a less configurable product, something that's not uh, as easily adjustable to your own body, right? So, uh, you know, you're giving up something for that uh, cost savings in many instances. Um, now, that may be a big deal to you, right? You may be on a serious budget. So, 
another thing to consider. But I also know a lot of guys um, with a box filled with like crappy budget holsters, right? So why not get yourself one or two solid holsters instead of a box filled of crappy budget holsters, uh, leather holsters, things of that nature, right? So just something to consider you guys. Uh, price does matter to a lot of us. I mean, it matters to me too, but um, you get what you pay for. And this holster, I think, is kind of your ultimate choice that's out there. So price may be on that list of considerations. But that is it for this holster, you guys. That's the general feature set for this holster. And uh, I think, guys, when you decide how you want to carry, um, you have to make the investment into something that's going to run well for you and for a long period of time. And um, I've been running these holsters now for quite some time. Um, they always fit well. Um, they've done what they said they were going to do. They keep my gun on me and safe and in a very comfortable manner. Um, I highly recommend them. I can't recommend them enough and if you can't configure it your way with tear and concealed i don't know really um what you'd uh be looking for really in a holster system i mean they really do have quite a bit of, of uh different variety of holsters but for uh, as for appendix rigs like this a sidecar style appendix rig like this um, i think you're actually looking at the tier one holster out in the market so definitely head out there. Um, I'm going to drop a link in the description box below for both the holster and for these DCC clips. And you guys will be able to um, click the link, see if you can configure it yourself and see if it works for you. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, sometimes you have to take one for the team and try these things out to see if they work for you and see if they work best. Um, this is just my opinion. Uh, I've run this holster now for quite some time and it works extremely well for me. So I hope it will for you and I hope I've helped you guys out. And if I did, guys, please hit that like, subscribe and share. Do me a solid. Um, and uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you have this holster? Do you not have this holster? Do you want one? Do you have questions about it? Strike up a conversation in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to as many people as I can. Um, and if you uh, have it and don't like it or do like it, let us all know in the comments section. That's what it's here for. We are a community. We have to support one another with knowledge and that's why I'm making these videos for you guys. In any case, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. See you soon.